Hi, my name is Pete, and welcome to the next or the next <laughs> video in the tutorial series for Divi Machine. I was going to talk about the custom loop layout and displaying your posts, but I think before that, I just want to show you the advanced custom field item module. This module will set us up nicely to then move on to the custom loop layout. I'm actually going to show you a few modules here, so let's just go. Let's just see where this takes us. So, in order to display this, I want to create a a, a, a new template. So go to Divi Theme Builder New Template, and this I want to be. Uh, if you go, let's go to the home page. Let's search for all the cars, and if we click on this Range Rover, we'll end up on the single page. Now I'm just going to be creating a quick template, so we can see how the um, how we can use Advanced Custom Field to sh to show the data. Um, by creating a single page, you know, template. So go to Divi Theme Builder, and in here, create a new template. Go down to the car section and go to all cars. This template will be for all the single pages. Add body, add build custom body. Okay, so here we are. This is our single page, and I'm just going to add a two column layout because I want to add a gallery here in a minute. But on this side. Let's add first of all just the post title so you can see um, the post title module is pretty straightforward. You can choose the HTML tag, so if you use it in the custom loop, which you'll see, you can change that and you can link it to the single page. But we're on the single page, so you don't need to link it. Save pages, save save changes. The next set thing I want to do is show the advanced custom field item module. Now in here, uh, we first set in as a repeater custom label. So this is when you when you're using the repeater module, you can add a custom label so that you can identify which is which. So I'm gonna actually just do price because the first thing I want to do is show the price. So advanced custom field name. Here we go. We're gonna select price, and you can show label or uh, hard label, show label, pretty fire your text. Um, you, you, know, you can change the separator prefix, so uh, you know I can have the price before. Uh, you know the label separator. So this, so that's just kind of like there's a few settings you can play with. Specific settings. This is ones that are specific to the certain advanced custom field. So if you have an image link or a file, you can choose the format. Now I would suggest using an array. For an image or a file, the reason why I say that is, for example, with the image, there's a lot more information we can store in the array. So this is when you're in the actual field over here. So let's just go. I think yeah, in the gallery we have an, an image type. So in here you can have this return format: image array URL or RD. Leave it as image array, and the reason being is we can we you can have uh, the the alt the alt alt tag and the title tag so that's displayed so for SEO purposes this is better you can also make uh, the file or link so field so this is a different field so let's say I can add a field this I can go uh, you know brochure let's say I want to have a brochure I haven't I haven't done this one yet uh, under the field type I want to have that as a file leave it as an array Okay, so here under this file type, let me just save this, and we may use it a bit later. Um, I can make this uh, this a button. So instead of it just being plain text, I can have a nice uh, button. I can also remove the webs, the, the, remove the the website link name for the URL. So this is um, for the URL type, so not the file, but the URL type. You see. And the reason why you might want to do that is you can have like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, for example, and you may want to just show an icon and you can remove the URL or that, sorry, remove the text, Facebook, for example, and just show the icon, which you can specify further down. The image size, uh, true or false. So. Let's say there's an option that's true or false. You can you can choose the text yes or no or whatever you want to change it. Here you can add a you can use an icon which will show before the 
the module or you can add a, 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 upload your own custom image archon um, which I will do in a sec let me just uh, go quickly grab one and then I'll be back in a sec okay so this is just a very very uh, quick I just wanted to quickly show you and I hadn't prepared an image so I just need to do it so let's upload an image uh, let's just add this little tag which will be like a image and we can upload that and we can choose where we want it um, on top okay so actually in this current moment I'm, this is probably a little bug that I have so I'll have to sort it out but you'll see it in a minute um, and an image size uh, okay so that's you can change the image size the design tab there's loads of other options as well so let's just let's just save this save this and then let's go through to this, this this page now and here you should see there we go we have the title and we have the the tag image and the so that's just how it looks at the moment it doesn't look great but i just wanted to show you that so now that we have that um let's go through to the cars the cars archive page which would be forward slash cars and this is how all the cars are shown now we want to display this better so how do we go about displaying this better well we can use what we call a custom loop layout and we use this within our other plugin body commerce as well but here we're going to be uh, using it in uh, in this text in this context now i think i'm actually going to do a video just for the custom loop layout so if you want to just jump and see the custom loop layout, you know, you can go exactly to this video. So I'm going to stop this tutorial now so you can see how at the moment I've just shown you how to use an advanced custom field module. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to jump straight into the custom loop layout. Hope you have a great day and see you in the next video.